Hello, uh, now that we know a lot more about scalars, vectors, and matrices, we can look at the most basic operations we can do with them. Uh, we'll check some code examples, so at least very basic Python experience is recommended, but if you don't know how to program at all, I still believe that this tutorial is going to be beneficial. So scalars are just numbers. Uh, we can add and subtract, multiply and divide, or raise to a power, and uh, they're very simple. You can see some code examples uh, at the moment, but uh, I think we can just move on to vectors. Now, uh, with vectors, we can perform element-wise addition and subtraction if each vector has the same number of components. Uh, we just iterate through both vectors and add or subtract corresponding components. It results in a new vector. Uh, this is an example in Python. Uh, we have two vectors defined as Python lists, and here are two functions one for addition and one for subtraction. It simply iterates through both vectors, sums or subtracts one element from another and stores the result in this result variable. And this is uh, the example in Python, but this time using NumPy. So in this case, we can simply use the addition or subtraction operators. Next, uh, we have vector scalar multiplication, and that simply means we can multiply or divide a vector by a number. This is done by multiplying or dividing each component of the vector by a scalar. And this is how it is done in pure Python. We iterate through an array, multiply each element by a given scalar, and store this inside our result variable. And this is using NumPy. Uh, here we can use a multiplication operator, also known as asterisk. We can also compute the magnitude or a norm of a vector. And this is done using the Pythagorean theorem. To do that, uh, we compute the square root of a sum of squared elements, and this is uh, the mechanics in pure Python. We initialize a result as zero, iterate through a vector, square each component, and add it to our result. We also compute the square root before returning the result. And if we use NumPy, this is once again a one-liner. We use NumPy's linalc norm. Uh, there are more operations like dot product, but uh, we'll take a look at it in the following video. And uh, now we are left with matrices, and as with vectors, we can perform element-wise addition or subtraction. And like vectors, matrices have to be of the same shape. Uh, let's take a look at the Python example. Uh, in this case, we initialize new matrix and fill it with zeros. And uh, as we iterate through our matrices, we simply overwrite elements of our result matrix with the sum of elements at the same indices from both of our input matrices. And this is element-wise addition or subtraction using NumPy. Uh, we can simply use uh, addition or subtraction operators. Uh, we can also multiply each element of a matrix by scalar. Uh, this is how it works in Python. We can create a new matrix filled with zeros that has the same shape as our input matrix and override these values with uh, the element multiplied by a scalar as we iterate through rows and columns of our input matrix. And here is uh, the example using NumPy. Here we once again can use a simple uh, multiplication operator. There are more operations that we are interested in like matrix multiplication or finding the transpose of a matrix, but uh, I'll explain these in videos to come as they might need a little bit more explanation. And uh, here you go. These are the most basic things we can do. And uh, in the following video, we are going to take a look at the dot product. So if you find this video useful, hit a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.